What's up? No one guy from A7. Today we're going to be changing out the AC blower motor and resistor in my 2007 Chevy Silverado. So I actually hoping that I got right parts. There are two different models in 2007. So hopefully these work. All right. So to get to the blower motor, you're going to come to the passenger side. I got a seven millimeter socket. Come underneath here. There should be a seven mil or seven millimeter screw here, and then. Another one, where did I find it? Right here in the back. And then there's also one over here on the side, which we may or may not have to take out. So we'll see. I guess there's only two screws. There is a screw over there still holding it on, closer to the driver's side. But with that screw out and this screw out, maybe we'll drop it down pretty good. All right there, we got the blower motor, and then we got the resistor. So we'll look up here. See if there's any screws or anything holding this blower motor on. But it should just be a clip. And we'll go from there. Alright, so I was able to get the motor out. You're going to come up on the left side. If you're coming in through the passenger door, and you're going to find this little tab right here. You're going to pull that tab down with your hand or your finger. And then while you pull it down, you're going to turn it clockwise. And then your whole blower motor should fall out. And then once we turn it around, should have our electrical or electrical connection right there. We'll take that one off, plug in the new one, slide it back up there. So I'll try to get that disconnected real quick. Most of the videos I watched said that this little plastic insert right here is really hard to get out. So I'm gonna use a screwdriver, probably pop it, and then I'll let you know how hard it is for me. It also looks like it has a little uh, barrier piece right there too. So get back to you. All right, so use a screwdriver. This thing popped out super easy. So take that out. Got my old motor right here. Got the new motor. They look pretty much the same. So hopefully I'm not gonna have any problems. This one is a little bit different. I guess there's a little swoosh on it. Whereas this one don't. I don't know. This one does kind of look a little bit smaller also. So we'll see what happens when we put it back in the, up in there. Alright. So I got it back up in there. I'm not going to lie. Putting this thing in here kind of sucked. So you want to turn it. Where. Well the electrical input. When you get it locked in place. Will be facing straight ahead. So you want to put it in like a two o'clock position, push it up in there, and then turn it counterclockwise to get it to lock back in uh, place. So it did take a couple tries. Kind of big. This thing was cutting into my forearm a little bit, but not too big of a deal. So I got it in there, got it plugged up, and then I'm gonna take a look at this resistor next and see if I should change this out or not. Cause this one looks a little bit different than the one I got. So we'll find out. So looking at the one that I got in my truck and the one that they sent me, everything's different on this. So probably not gonna change this one out. But we're gonna turn the truck on, see if the air works now. So hopefully it was just the uh, blower motor that was messed up. So it looks like it's doing pretty good. So check out the defrost. All right, defrost is working. Looks like it was the blower motor so all we gotta do now is push that back up in this uh position put them two screws back in there and then we should be good to go all right so got the panel back up everything's good biggest thing about that panel is make sure when you're pushing it up the wires go on the outside of the panel or not the panel's not going to go up and you're just going to be sitting there fighting it so wires on the side on the outside of the panel Screw goes right there. The screw goes right there. 
Super easy job. So, I'm that one guy from 87. Just changed out the blower motor in my 2007 Chevy Silverado. Pretty easy job. Uh, a little bit uncomfortable to get to, but not that bad. Sorry about the camera angles. It was kind of hard to film up underneath there while I was changing it. So, hopefully you kind of saw how it worked. And I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.